cockroach here looks exactly like a human being, muscular and tall. The two humans in front of it were dumbfounded. What the hell is this? I was promised a million dollars if I came to Mars to kill cockroaches. But I didn't know the cockroaches here could grow to such a big size. Kevin smiled awkwardly and said hello to the cockroach. But the cockroach not only ignored him, he even teleported over and snapped his girlfriend's neck. So it seems that you have to be polite, or else you'll end up like this. Kevin was so shocked that he held his girlfriend's body and yelled at the cockroach. But the cockroach's expression was very calm, just turned around and disappeared in an instant. Not only their side of the tragedy, on the other side, their teammates also encountered the cockroach game. The co-captain was brutally killed by the cockroaches. After Kevin took care of his girlfriend's body, he led his teammates to the captain to find out the truth of this operation. It turns out that 500 years ago, scientists put moss and cockroaches on Mars to solve the population problem. They intended to improve the environment there so that human beings could migrate to Mars. But after 500 years of evolution, the cockroaches have all mutated into Hulk. So now, in order for humans to live on Mars, they have to be destroyed. The crews involved in this operation are all from the lower classes of society. They include murderers, stowaways, hackers, and gang leaders. That means they're the best people to exterminate the cockroaches. And even if they die in the operation, they're still making a contribution to society. And they're all in it for the money. If they complete the mission successfully, each of them will get a million dollars. Seeing that everyone is in such a panic, the boss who recruited them at the beginning told them through the holographic projection that when they participated in the operation, each of them had a small operation. Now they've been implanted with different types of insect genes. Just one more injection of the active agent will stimulate the insect's superpowers in their bodies. But before they had time to think too much, a cockroach came from outside the ship. Seeing that the cockroach is approaching, Jack plans to take the lead. As he injects himself, his body instantly mutates, his palms turn into claws and his hair grows tentacles. He has fused the genes of Pharopsiphus jesuensis, so he can emit flames from his body. Jack raised his right hand and a cannon barrel grew from his palm. Just like Iron Man, a fiery laser shoots out at the cockroach. However, no matter how much he increased the power of the laser, the cockroach was unharmed. Then the cockroach slowly walked up and waved his right hand and Jack lost his breath. The teammates on the spaceship were shocked. Suddenly there's a noise above their heads. My god, the cockroach was on the window, banging his head against the glass. With the sound of the shards, he managed to break through the window. The captain immediately injected himself with an active agent that turned him into bullet ant. The captain only needed to punch the cockroach until it exploded. But the crisis is not over yet. The ship is now surrounded by tens of thousands of cockroaches. If they don't escape, they'll be buried on Mars. But the trouble is that the ship's takeoff system is malfunctioning. Now, if they want to escape from Mars, they have to find Spaceship One, which is a few kilometers away. It was left behind 10 years ago when mankind first explored Mars. To do this, they've split up into groups. One group stays on the ship to fend off the cockroaches, while the other group goes in the armored car to find Spaceship One. The man's face suddenly expands and jets sprout from his mouth. As he inhaled and charged, his cheeks swelled and erupted in flames. Then he was on top of the armored car, accelerating on nitrogen as he crashed through the cockroaches. But what the human didn't expect was the waves in front of him. It's not water, it's a tidal wave of cockroaches. The man increased the power of the jet and charged through the 100 rows of cockroaches. But after all these fights, his energy is about to run out. A second wave of cockroaches is rising in front of him. The two female teammates in the car are going to help him. They were injected with the additive agent and transformed into beetles. The two women stood in front of the man and set up a solid shield against the countless cockroaches. But the armored car was overturned by the cockroaches. The three of them were thrown to the ground. And the cockroaches came in. They slapped and stomped the two women once and they lost their breath. The man couldn't stand it any longer. He rushed over to take revenge. But the cockroaches gently grabbed his head and threw it upward. Then hit him with a stick. The armored car on the ground next to him turned on autopilot mode and took the unconscious members of the car to the target site. After the station, the awakened men found the spaceship one. But strangely enough, the takeoff system here is also malfunctioning. Suddenly there were gunshots from outside. Two of the crew members have been attacked by the cockroaches. What's even more outrageous is that this super evolved. Cockroaches are so smart that they even know how to use guns. The remaining three immediately start injecting reagents and transforming. Kevin transformed into a poisonous wasp and it's this sprouted poisonous things that quickly numbed the cockroaches. Sam transformed into Desert Locust, who had super stomping power. The vice captain is a praying mantis with two big swords. 
the cockroaches were no match for the three of them. In the blink of an eye, the cockroaches were wiped out, but the boss sent a drone to show that he's finished collecting data on the three of them. And now the two spies on board ship to have killed the captain. As long as they bring the stolen cockroach X back to Earth, boss's plan will be accomplished. It turns out that destroying the cockroaches is not the real goal, but bringing back the X to analyze their mutated genes. That way, the boss will have an endless army of cockroaches. Then the three of them, who are still alive should stay on Mars and fend for themselves. But, if the villain's mission goes so well in the early part of the movie, there's going to be some surprises next. A giant cockroach egg is splitting and hatching. The next moment, two giant cockroaches are born. This woman immediately transforms into Jew Wasp. The poisonous scene in her hand pokes at the cockroaches and tries to control their minds. However, they've evolved and are immune to these tricks. Then the cockroach stopped the woman's heart with a heart punch. Even the man next to her couldn't escape the cockroach clutches. By now, Spaceship 2 has been launched. As the two cockroaches shouted, the cockroaches on the ground sprouted wings and flew to the airship and dragged the ship down hard. After the ship landed on the ground, the three surviving crew members decided to fight the cockroach army to the death. They immediately injected the active agent and started transforming. They defeated one cockroach after another like a game of lawn mowing. The two newly hatched cockroaches were genetically evolved, so the three of them were no match for them. Now they can't be called ordinary cockroaches, but king cockroaches. The sub-captain, who turned into a praying man to slash down with a big knife, but was caught by the cockroach king's hand. The cockroach king whipped off her praying mantis arm and sent her out of this world. Sam came in a hurry, he injects himself with shot after shot of active agent and tries to expand his power so much that he grows wings. Then he destroys one of the king roaches with a flying stomp. But due to the overdose of Activator, Sam's strength is severely depleted and he collapses to the ground. But there is still one cockroach left. Kevin, who transformed into a poisonous wasp, used all this strength to stab at the other roach. But his tough stinger was quickly broken by the king cockroach. Without his stinger, Kevin lost his superpower. The punch hit through with the cockroach king's fist with all his strength was as soft as cotton. Then he was kicked to the ground. Just when Kevin was about to die, there was a sound from the sky. The cockroach king looked up and saw Kevin's dead girlfriend transformed into a butterfly, emitting phosphorus powder in the air. Whenever it is ignited, it will cause a violent explosion. Kevin immediately spread his wings and flew up to the sky to take his girlfriend to escape from Mars. But halfway up, the cockroach opened fire on him. With a loud bang, the ground is instantly on fire. But Sam knew that Kevin's girlfriend was already dead. In order to save Kevin, he used all his strength to fly Kevin into the sky. And Kevin's girlfriend died in the fire. In the end, the cockroach army was wiped out. Kevin has regained his human body, but Sam, who was overinjected with the active agent, became desert locust forever and could never be human again. Sam was dying and asked Kevin to return to Earth alive. Then Sam took his last breath. Kevin returned to the ship and headed for Earth with the hopes of the entire crew.